Well, we made it back from the bins with lots and lots of treasures. Stay tuned to see everything that's inside. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from yesterday's um, video you seen when I went to the Goodwill bins. I did amazing. I think I did so well. I spent just a little over $20, $21 to be exact, because I round up. I usually always try to round up, but um, I think I did quite well. So I'm going to show you everything that I got right now. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you because they're so big, I can't really pick them up and hold them. Um, well, I mean, I can, but they're tall, so... Okay, I got these amazing blow molds. They are 1973 vintage Empire blow mold candles in really, really, really good condition. They just need a little bit of cleaning and they are good to go. They are in really, really good condition. So score, that was a good find. Okay, so let's get into the sacks fulls of stuff. Just a little bit. Okay. So, I got this cute little vintage bunny. It's got little wire ears so you can um, bend them or place them however you like. It has its original tag that says Made in Japan on there. And it is just adorable. It's one of those hard plushies, you know. So sticky cute with its blue vest, and I just thought that was adorable. So I picked that up. And then I picked up these three cutie pies. They are absolutely adorable. I love these little beaded girls. I think they're so cute. So, and they're all three different color. They've got their little hand warmers. They're so fancy and aren't they precious? I love these. I love the colors of them and I just think the set is so pretty. Would be really nice sitting on um, like a shelf. You know, this. I love the safety pin art. I think it's cool. And then I found this. I absolutely love this vintage pottery whistle. It is marked right there. As you can see, it's got a name right there. And then it's marked right there. I don't know the language, but hey, it's pretty cool. And it's a neat little piece. Very neat. And then I picked up this. Now, I forgot to buy batteries when I was at the store yesterday. So, I'm going to have to get batteries. But I did end up picking up this guy. I didn't even look it up uh, because I just thought it was super cool. And if it doesn't sell, then I'll just keep it for myself. Um, but it is a Jimmy. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. It is a Jimmy. And when he has batteries in him... His hands and his eyes move. Like his eyes will move. They'll just go around like that. I just think that's so sticky cute and adorable. And I love it. He started to work a little bit, but the batteries in him were a little a dead, I'm assuming. So I left them in the Goodwill bins. And then, because I didn't want to pay for the weight of them, that would be dumb. And then I found this guy. I love, love, love this elf. Isn't he so stinking cute and adorable? I love pixies. I love elves. I just, they're totally my thing. 
And he's got, you know, wire arms. You can bend him and move him however you want. He's got a cute, adorable face. So awesome. He can be a knee hugger if you want to put his knees up and he can hug his knees. Or he can sit on your shelf. He's, I love him so much. He remind me of the bigger ones that I found um, that were all broken the other day. So I had to leave those behind. But I like him. He's not broken, so I was happy to pick him up. And then I just found one California raisin laying at the bottom of the bins. And this is applause. It's from the 80s, 1988. And I didn't want to leave it behind. I love California raisins. His shoe is twisted. <laughs> He's cute, right? Love California raisins. So I picked him up. I'll probably add him to like a like a bag, like the treasure bag or something that I like to do. And then I picked up two of these. I love these things so much. They are the vintage plastic, like, nativity scenes. Um, made in Hong Kong. This one's marked Blum, Bloom. B-L-U-M-E. The Christmas Corner. Oh, that's what it says on the back. Right up there. Usually these are made in Hong Kong. I'm assuming, yeah, this is made in Hong Kong at the bottom of it. But isn't that so cute? I love this one. This one's in really, really good condition, I believe. I don't think it's any, it has any broken pieces, as far as I know. A lot of the times these, some of these things will be missing. I love this. But this other one I think does have, I found two, actually. This one does have one missing piece right there aren't these so fun i love these i love these little plastic christmas decorations i, I just love them i think those are super cool and then i picked up some stuff to add to a goodie bag a treasure bag. I like doing the little treasure bags or, you know, if I can't find a basket, which I did say that I, in the video, you see me pick up a wicker um, duck basket. And then I realized this is not even going to be near enough big it for it will only hold a couple items. So then I put it back. I didn't end up picking it up. But if those are something that you guys like, let me know. Isn't he cute? He's all felt. Um, let me know and I can, you know, pick them up because I see them in the bin sometimes. The wicker duck, bat, like the wicker animal baskets. Sometimes I'll pick them up, but that I thought was cute to add to a treasure bag. This little um, keychain from like a casino or something. I don't know. I just thought that was cute. I just pick up little things that catch my eye to add, you know, that I don't like to sell on their own by themselves. I like to put in treasure baskets or bags, like this little piece of pottery, Mexican pottery. It would be perfect for like a little treasure bag. That's cute. And then this little stained glass owl, I thought was fun. That'll be fun to add to a treasure bag. And a little clippy, a little note hanger. And it's funny, it says straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Instead of the behind, you know. So I picked up that little piece. And I think that was all the little pieces I picked up, I think. And then I did find this. I did find this. I love this flag. It says peace with a peace sign and it's rainbow. Oh. Isn't that so cool? Absolutely love it. Um, I like rainbows and unicorns and butterflies and pixies and mushrooms. And so I just, I love that flag. 
Oh, I did pick up two of these and I was gonna add these to the treasure bag as well. They're little beaded coin purses. Well, they're decent size, I guess. They're not too little, but they're super cute and they're both different color. They're both in really good condition and they both have zippers that work nicely. So, pick those up. And then I found this. It's a Noel. I like the way the letters look. They look really, really vintage. And even around, they even am like stitched around the ring. So it looks so nice. Isn't that awesome? And it's got a little dangly thing. Really cute for your vintage um, Christmas display. I thought that was awesome. I, Cause I do pick up vintage Christmas when I see it. The next few items are vintage Christmas. I found this so stinking cute and adorable uh, vintage felt stocking. I love these old ones and I thought that was so cute. So I picked that one up and then I found four matching ones. Well, they're different, but they're like, see, they say sister and they're the thin, the thin material. They're so kitschy and so cute. So there's that one. That one. This one. See how they're all different, but they're all matching. And then this one. And this one says brother. I love them. I just think they're so cute. They're so much fun. And then I picked up this. I love it. I love all the beads on there. So kitschy. This would look so cute in a frame. In like a red, red frame. You can get, and that's a good tip. If you ever find something like this that you think would look good in a frame, go to the Dollar Tree or go to the dollar store or go to Walmart and find a cheap frame and get a can of spray paint and paint it to match the color that you want it. You can get any. Rust-Oleum is the spray paint that I recommend using. Um, I don't like the Krylon brand, but I recommend Rust-Oleum. And yeah, you can paint any frame to match, you know, the decor in your house, whatever you'd like. So I picked up that one I thought was cute. Then I picked up this one. I thought is absolutely adorable. All this vintage stuff. I wish I would have got to this um, bin or this row, you know, when they first brought it out, but I it had already been there like a day. So I'm sure it probably had pixies that people grabbed. So this one is awesome because somebody made this and it still has its ribbon. It won an award at the fair. Isn't that so cute? I love it. So I'm going to leave those tags on there. You can just flip them to the back um, and then you can't even see them. But Because I think that's neat to see who made it and stuff. But again, very, very kitschy. This is a crocheted one. And it's got like different beads on there and even the little birds that go in the Christmas trees. Isn't I just think these are so cute. So there's three different ones. Tell me you, would, you wouldn't have left these behind in the bins. I mean, they're so cute and kitschy. And I'll probably either do choice or maybe I'll sell them all three in a lot at Christmas time. Who knows? And then I did find one more vintage Christmas thing. And this one, I can't decide if I'm going to keep it or sell it. Um... I may keep it because I've had one before, but it fell apart on me. And this one all is in one strand. It is the plastic candy, like the little plastic. They feel like blow molds kind of, you know, the plastic candy garland. And I absolutely love it. Like I said, it's in really, really good condition. Let's see how it has the gumdrops. Gumdrops in the candies, the peppermints. So yeah, it's all in one strand. Oh, except for it looks like it was re 
retied right there. Somebody might have fixed it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I really like it. It's pretty long strand. So we'll have to see how I feel at Christmas time. But I love that. My parents had that when I was a kid growing up. That garland. And then I found this. I love this. It's all beads. And see, it's a vintage plant hanger. You put your, you know how they have like the macrame plant hangers? This one's a beaded plant hanger. And I love, love, love the beads on there. And it even has a butterfly, a plastic butterfly on there. I, I love this. This is very, very 70s style and so much fun. If I had plants, I would definitely keep this but I don't have any plants. I don't have to do the live plant thing. I'm not good at keeping them alive. So, But that's cool. That one's totally, totally cool. I love that one. Okay, and then the last thing in the first sack is this whole bag of, I found a baggie in the bins, um, of these Fisher-Price families. I'll show you. I will take some of them out. I looked them up. They sell for okay money. Oh, this one's... Oh, yeah. Maybe she's the wife. I don't know. But they're like... Let me make sure this is the right... No, she doesn't belong, I don't think. She's from 2001. She doesn't belong. But I'll probably just leave her in the bag just because I picked her up. And what else am I going to do with her? Maybe she does go with him. Because those look different on the feet. The, yeah, these say FP 19, or 93 FP. So 1993 Fisher Price. And so there's like a whole family in here, like a mom, a dad, a mom, um, and then kids, like a daughter and a baby. And a brother. Well, actually, this baby, I does. I think this baby might go with this other set. I don't think that baby, this baby goes with this set. I can tell by their eyes. And just a whole bag. So I might leave that family in there. It's, it's, there's so many. So many different ones. And then some furniture. Some vintage furniture, too. So, I'll, like I said, I'll probably leave this bookshelf. looks cool, too. I'll probably just put this all in one bag and sell it all as one lot. Look, it's got a little ballerina on the top of it. Isn't that cool, that bookshelf? The doll furniture is pretty cool itself. So, I just thought that was a neat find. Okay, then I did find an Anna Lee. I love finding Anna Lee. This one still has its original tag, as you can see, and then its tag on there. Unfortunately, it is a little discolored. So I don't know how to get the discoloration out, um, as you can see on its wings and stuff, and where I showed you on its hands, some spots. It does have some discoloration. So I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to get it out. It has its halo and its fuzzy hair. So I'm just gonna sell it as is in my live sale tonight, um, right here on my YouTube channel at 6 p.m. Central Time, so don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, I will be selling this Anna Lee as is, because maybe somebody has a trick to know to getting those. I haven't even tried anything. I don't want to. Um, maybe just some Dawn dish soap and a warm rag will get it out. I don't know. But I just thought it was too cute to leave behind. And then I did find a whole bag of vintage Christmas again. 
Okay, so I'm going to show you what's in this bag of vintage Christmas. These were in there. Aren't they so cute? They're like little... Uh, you can use them as ornaments, I think. But somebody made them out of Christmas cards and stuff. They're little booties. <laughs> I just thought they were so cute. Somebody was asking 50 cents a piece. But I'll just lot them up in a Christmas lot. And then I found this piece. Now, I think this piece might be going to my mother. Um, I think she said she might want this. I'll have to double check with her again. But I'm pretty sure... It's all twisted and tangled, but it hangs. It's like a vintage Christmas hanging basket. And it is, the red is like felted, the red felt. It's a little bit dusty and stuff. It was in the bins, but I just thought that was a cool piece. And a really neat find in the bins being vintage Christmas. You know, I love vintage Christmas. This is a magnet. She is a plastic Santa, Mrs. Santa. Now, I love these. I love, love, love these. These are so cute. So, there are Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus. Look at their Chanel pipe cleaner um, arms. Aren't they so cute? They're so adorable. I absolutely love them. Look at their faces. They're so fun. So I picked those up. I found this guy. Now, at first I thought he was a Rossboro uh, candy container, but I think he's a candle holder. I think he might have held a, one of those skinny red kit little candles, but I could be wrong. But there is, see he, how he has a hole right there? But he's totally vintage, totally old. He might even be antique. I don't know. He looks really old to me. I just thought it was cool. I can't find no markings or anything on him. And then I did find a bunch of these, like, Jewel Bright. Well, not a bunch. I found four. I found four of them. Um, one, it's hook, I don't know, might be at the bottom of this bag. So I found four of these, so there's these two. Ow. These two. There we go. The plastic ornaments. I love these with the things inside. These are very, very mid-century vintage and popular right now. And they're in good condition. So the, I picked up those two and then these two. How fun are those? Like I said, they're in really, really good condition. So I was super excited to find those. And then I picked up this little beaded ornament. I thought it was a little, so cute. See the little girl inside. How fun is that? I love the colors and I just thought that was a neat ornament. And then I picked up this gal, this little angel. I absolutely love her. She's like the, Oh, I don't know what you call that. Like, kind of like the composite material. Composition or whatever. I don't know. She is so cute. She's got a little bit of scuffies on her face. A Mr. Clean Eraser would take those off probably. But she's cute. And then the last one. Oh, yeah, that hook is in the bottom of the bag. Is this guy. He is a wooden... Um, snowman and look when you when you pull the little string he moves isn't that so cute I love him I just thought he's so cute so fun he is wooden and a really neat ornament so I those were the vintage Christmas ornaments and all that Christmas goodies 
I found. And then I did pick up a whole bag of the plastic fruit. I love these. I think they're so much fun. There's all kinds in here. It doesn't weigh a whole lot at all because they're plastic. Um, like the hollow on the inside, sort of like a blow mold, kind of. But I love them. I thought that was such a fun find. Very kitschy and fun. I found a whole bag of linens. You know, I like to do my linen bags. So, of course, I picked these up, like, with the scarves. This is, like, a silk scarf. It still has its um, vintage tag on there. And on the other side, it was made in Italy. So, really neat. And just some hankies. You know, like the women's hankies and stuff. That one's really cute and embroidered. And some crocheted pot holders that look like chickens. I don't know, all kinds of stuff in that whole bag. So, a whole bag of fun vintage linens. I did find three um cruels the vintage cruel pieces these are really neat because they're again matching but not matching they are the red barns so there's this one and look they're in really really good condition that one and then that one and how fun would these be on a gallery wall especially if you collect um the vintage cruel these are really really neat they've got really neat detail and they don't weigh a lot because they're not in frames yet. You can put them in frames, your own frames. But I didn't want to leave those behind. I did pick up a vintage Goosebump book. I do pick these up anytime I find them. From the They're from the 90s. My brother had a, the whole set of them. Um, 1995. But yeah, anytime I find these in the bins, I always pick up Goosebump books because when you lot them together, they sell pretty good in lots. I found something for myself. I found the Goonies. Yes, I love the Goonies. My DVD is all scratched up somehow. So when I went to watch it, when I wanted to watch it not too long ago, it wouldn't play. This one will because I took it out and it's not scratched at all. So that was pretty exciting. And I did find my mom another thing. She collects these little miniature books. And this one is great things for every woman to remember. So she likes to put these on little shelves on her wall. And they look like, you know, they're little tiny books. So cute. Really good condition. And... Just a neat little thing I could give to her. And then one more thing I'm going to give to her. Because she also collects vintage hotel ashtrays. And she did not have this one. She has like five different hotel ones. But she didn't have the best western. So I was super excited to tell her that I found this one. And um, she's going to add this one to her collection. How fun. It's really fun when you can find things that you love and you collect or that you need actual for your house in the Goodwill bins. Okay, guys. So then I found one more thing for myself. I did find this Where's Waldo for myself. Me and Ross have a collection of these and we didn't have this one. It's in really good condition. So we are excited that I found this one. And then the last things that I found in the Goodwill bins are probably my favorite things besides the blow molds and the Christmas that I found. These are so, so awesome. I found a ton of these albums. Not a ton, a few, I guess I should say. Oh, I forgot. I did find this. 
I did pick up this glass. I don't know if this is a stopper, a bottle stopper. That's what it looks like to me. Or is it one of those that you mash? That you mash up like what? Mat, whatever you want to mash up, I guess. Or is it a stopper? I don't know, but it is super cool and it's glass. So I pick that up. Okay, so then back to the albums. These are awesome, you guys. Super, super cool. They're just little guys. You know, they're just little because they hold recipes. Now, most of these are, some of them are typed up, which is nice typed up on the little note cards but most of them are like handwritten and then some of them are cut out of like magazines or whatever but most of them are ty either typed or handwritten and I found well this one's got actually a lot of them that are well some of them are handwritten typed Okay, so I found this one, this one, let's see, this one that says pies, and I think it's all kinds of pies. Um, wools and something. These are so cool, and they're all full, you guys. Every single one of them is full. So I was extremely happy to find these and pick these up. These are so cool. This one is really cool. This one actually says recipes, but it's not in the best shape. Like, something sat on it, as you can see. That side's nice. It's got one little spot right there, but the front side it looks like something had sat on it. I don't know if you could wash it off or what, but again, recipes, recipes, recipes. Jam, jelly, relish, etc. Oh, that one didn't have a... I flipped it to the back page where it didn't have anything. But yeah, these are cool. This one. Meat dishes. This lady liked to cook. And then the last one is empty for yourself. It just says photo album. That's what these really were meant for was photo albums. But the lady used them for recipes. But this one is empty. But I like like it, and it still has its plastic on it, and I didn't want to leave it behind. So that there we go, guys. That is my haul. Like I said, I only ended up spending $20, $21, because I rounded up, um, for all that stuff. So I don't think I did too bad. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins, because I found so much. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are interested in that I find, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. And I can let you know if it's um, going to be available for sale or if I'm going to have it in a live sale. A lot of the things that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. I host my live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So you want to make sure you hit that bell button. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. Because sometimes I'll have um, random pop-up live sales throughout the week and they're a lot of fun and you don't want to miss out on those. Um, and then every once in a while I'll list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Not very often, but those links are also in the description below as well too. But I will be having my live sale this evening, tonight, Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Time. So like I said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.